What's it doing? <laughs> yeah, imagine the stream dropping out in round seven. <laughs> <laughs> It said go live before, but now it's not going, it doesn't give me that grade out again. Oh, is that how it works? Oh. Wow. Crazy. <laughs> so at least the tournament part went, went by pretty swimmingly, so uh... Yeah, yeah. Looks like we have to do the intro again. Crazy. Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When do you, when you when do you need to head out? Mm. Like, for me, it's eight thirty six right now. So at like ten ten, I need to. Head ten out. ten. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Hey everyone, it is Kai from WCC, and we've got our friend Chris here, different fight. Uh, hello, hello, good morning. How's it going? And, uh, good, good. We're, yeah, we're here in the WCC X Iki Vanguard Zero Global Tournament, and it's been crazy. We just finished Swiss. There were uh, 227 people that registered, but now we're getting, going to a cut of the top 16. Now, sorry for the little bit of delay. There were some uh, technical difficulties, but that is sorted now. What do you think, Chris? Vanguard Zero, we're here again, set four meta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like <laughs> we, we regressed technically because we were, what, set five? No, six? Yeah, we were set six for the championship. Yeah, and yeah. Now we're going back by, by two, but it still, it, it still feels like the similar flavor. It's still just like MLB, the end, shadows everywhere. <laughs> so it just doesn't have that extra, extra bit of spice with like Narukami and stuff. But yeah, uh -huh. I mean, it's... Narukami is spicy, that. man. Narukami oh, yeah. is spicy. <laughs> Next set, literally two two weeks. Yeah, but yeah, it's like I, it's it's nice that you know Bushwood rolled out their tournament support. Everyone's starting up their tournaments, and you know everyone's like doing stuff about it. So I feel like it's it's very cool. Yeah, so, I, I, I love to see everyone just hopping on, you know, creating tournaments, playing Vanguard Zero. It's like a it's like a global locals now internationally. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just doing it. Can't go out, but you know, tournaments are right here in your home. And uh, hopefully you guys will have fun. Hmm. Oh dear. I just saw the stream. We actually, I think we went live a, a little bit before <laughs> we thought we did. I see myself <laughs> chewing. <laughs> oh dear. Now, this is, this is <laughs> material. Oh well, my god. If, if you tune into the stream right now, at least you know that there is a delay. So there is a delay for the tournament, um, <laughs> so people cannot stream snipe. But uh, now you get to yeah. see our board faces for at least two minutes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay. All right. Um, there, there are some familiar faces for the tournament. Uh, like to, sh I think round seven just finished. Um, so. Yeah. Really Is everyone done with round seven? Or I think there's just there's two players left. There's two players left, but they might not be uh they might not be playing, I'm not sure. Let me let me double check. Mm, okay. But uh okay. a lot and of, a lot of... Gonna... Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. There's there's a lot of SEA players in this tournament. Mm, there's, uh, yeah, time right. zones. Time zones, but uh we get to see some Get to see some a lot of a lot of Singaporean players loved ranked. You see their names on the uh, the ranked yeah, yeah. ladder all the time. So uh, you get to see you get to see quite a few of them here. 
And uh, but th mm. there's still some there's still some players from the US that's done really well as well. Uh, one of them's in fourth place, Serena. Uh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We have Chalice. Uh, he's I think he's in fifth place. Uh, mm, and, uh, okay. We've got a person called New Fighter. <laughs> oh my god, it's like it's like Shinmai in uh, yeah in the Japanese one. O also from JP, so <laughs> the New Fighter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just everywhere. Yeah. Um, Bobo Mio, uh, it's uh, from the uh, the Singaporean team as well. And mm. we've got Chi Hung. We all know Chi Hung. Oh, yeah. well, you at World, yeah. you know Chi Hung. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you play the PCG, you know Chi Hung. <laughs> but yeah, there's there's some there's some well known people. Uh, only yeah, only one US player from in the top sixteen. It looks like most of them are from Singapore, Indonesia, and Malaysia. And there is a there's one Filipino as well. Uh, no really? EU representation dance game. Uh, is it Arake? Is is mm. he Se Se? Which one's that? Hard to say, Dude? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out. We'll oh, find wait. out. Arak? Uh maybe it is a European then. <laughs> yeah, but then, but then again, it's like, I guess the tournament started at a really weird hour for for Europeans too. What time was it? What time would it be like three hours ago? It's like five o'clock. Five, five ish, yeah. Oh, that's so, a early morning. It takes me back to my Vanguard Zero Championship qualifier, so waking up at four <laughs> every single week just to <laughs> just to sign in. <laughs> you know, just to Terrible. get gotta gotta get that qualifier, man. Gotta get that qualifier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be, it'd be really cool when they make like something you know super official for a. Uh, for the uh for the english side of things because things go on hype in in the the jp side and uh... yeah yeah yeah. although now it's kind of mellowed down because it's like they aren't doing as many qualifiers for some reason and then all the like you only qualify now through the top 50 i think like of each uh, season so they kind so of it's... move a portion of the qualifiers to the top 50 is it yeah kind of yeah it's it's a bit of a different system and like i mean to get top 50 you need to literally be playing like every day you know <laughs> non-stop it's it's you know you have to have the deck optimized as well so it's really <laughs> pretty rough in that sense but i mean at the same time it's like you know it'll still be hype it'll be like somewhere in august we'll get another hype you know um stream experience i might still personally try are, are you gonna try to get top 50 in any of these seasons oh it's grinding grinding the rank ladder in jp is actually really really hard okay yeah 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 I mean, I watched you play yesterday, and there was like no VP farmers for you in global. But in JP, it's like mm -hmm. <laughs> it doesn't Actually exist. None. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can, and like a lot of the players are like uh, they, they have they have decent decks. Like mm -hmm. you join the ladder, and everyone's got Aqua Force already, and you're just sitting there. Like sometimes you can just sit at one rank and go like up thirty points, then drop twenty points, then up twenty points, and drop twenty points again. Yep, yep, yep. So uh, I, I had one day where it's like I was like top of legend twelve, and then just went bottom of legend twelve, and just like stayed there all day. You yeah. know, it's like it really does take a while to climb, and like that's another thing is like if your deck isn't fast, if it's not like I don't know, if it doesn't have a bit of a higher win rate, you know, that's why MLB got nerfed is that it had a higher win rate than anything else. So like you literally have to be playing best deck and or be like insanely good at like the deck you're playing, mm. and so yeah, it's like. It's you also, rough. like, one thing that people don't realize is when you're doing ranked, you have to factor in, like, the, the time it takes you to win a game with that deck, mm -hmm. right? So if you take something like Pale Moon to ranked, you're going to spend oh, yeah. a long time having fun, but uh, ranking up in the ladder, it's going to take you forever. <laughs> forever, yeah. Same with Angels, oh my god. Oh my god, Angels. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why you see everyone on, like, Aqua Force, because, like, after MLB got nerfed, even though people are still saying MLB is the best deck, like, Aqua Force is just also really quick. It's, like, two damage every turn, yep. trading rears, you know, sniping cards. So it's, like, yeah, it's 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 pretty interesting. And then with Glory coming out next month, it should be even better. Yeah, like, I, I, I built Aqua Force very recently, but also, like, Narukami, great deck, go face, go ham. Easy game. Mm. Uh, those, those are the kind of decks you have to take the ladder. So I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure if I can devote so much time in getting to like something like top 50, top 50. I mean, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe top 100 is possible. But I think yeah, that's yeah, 
banner. Yeah. It's around like Legend 32 or something, right? Or <clears throat> Legend 30s to 40s. I don't know if it went up. I don't know if it went up recently. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Something like that. Yeah, so yeah. um it should be a I think that might be possible, but mm. it'll, come, it'll come down to the banner. Come down to the banner, yeah. really. <laughs> oh wow, it's it's Arake that's in still in top sixteen. Yes, that is that is a European face. Sorry. Well you said Araki was like Jojo. <laughs> 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 oh well, yeah. but yeah. So that's uh Jacob Linder. He's actually a really good player in in regular Vanguard in Europe too. Like he he's I think he's on the same team as Nuno, and wow. they okay. like play test a lot. He topped quite a few regionals too. Like in in Portugal, mm -hmm. I want to say in Germany at some point too, but that might be my memory failing me. <laughs> but yeah, so it's always nice. I think. You and me are always like, you know, it's exciting to see the TCG players at top, also top in Zero, but then it's like we can give the Zero players the lore. It's like, yeah, these are the people you can look up to. They've been dedicating <laughs> their lives to this game, you know? You know, it's like, it's, it's a it's a cross kind of thing, right? You know, play Zero to the Zero players, come play Paper, you know? Come play Paper. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come play Standard or Premium, uh, maybe after Hell this yeah. <laughs> you, guys, you guys like Overlord? He's a new Overlord. <laughs> Overlord the deck, that that's the meme. It's like, yeah, 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 there, yeah, there is there is actually like 10 overlords, 11, I think 11 overlords. If you include the great, mm. that's like two separate ones. So, uh, you yeah. know, yeah, the cross, yeah, that does mean 10 guys. If you're gonna go overlord the 10, so yeah, yeah, <laughs> not ironically, <laughs> yeah, that you, you've tested, you've tested next overlord, right? I didn't play it myself, I played against it. And but the thing is, they revealed that new grade one yesterday, and it literally, literally changes everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, all right. it's, like, it's just oh my god. Yeah. Uh, how about I don't I don't your your dimension police? How's Gallop? How's Gallop going? I mean, Gallop, I haven't even touched yet, but <laughs> so far, I I walked into um, Strictly Broken's like like Zistral's live stream playing Blood Black Eyeliner, and then literally after showing off the deck. Like two or three of their members bought all the pieces for Division Bleeds to build the deck because they were like, damn, this looks good. <laughs> so I was like, all right, I converted, I converted Strictly Broken. Now WCC is the next target. <laughs> Dude, Dark. when you see that deck, it's literally like I like it revived my hype for standard as a as a format. Like it's it's actually like the most pleasant DP I've ever played. And it actually feels really, really strong. Really, really. Yeah, like wow. Vlad like just took the biggest weakness of DP, which is going second and not doing enough, and it just went okay. You can like now just give power to your front row, do a great Dayusha on the same turn, and then you have like active mask for restands, do everything <laughs> with a force two, and like you literally can just OTK your opponent on turn three. It's great. Oh, I'm, I mean, I, I'm off for that. I, I like I like Dimension, please. I don't know. Yeah, if, yeah. If my teammates I remember. like Dimension, please, but you know, hell yeah, you gotta convert them to that to that cult man, the Dimension, please. Dude, if, if if you have tabletop, we can we can jam. I've been jamming it on tabletop. It's, it's hella fun. Okay. I, I don't, but that gives me a good reason to get it. And, and hell yeah. Play, also play one of the best card games ever created called Uno, right? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. Reverse Uno, baby. <laughs> you, have oh, to, uh, you have to, you know, tune in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Weeb. <laughs> A weeb, weeb Uno. <laughs> yeah, weeb Uno. Yeah, this is the content that the people want. <laughs> yes, this is what they came for. So, top 16 should be starting soon. Um, yeah. The format is still going to be best of one, right? Best of one, all the way up into the finals, which will be a best of three. So, yeah. Otherwise, yeah. The rest just best yeah. of one. Um, <clears throat> okay, okay. Let's see. They're getting it, they're sorting everyone else out now, so should be good. Mm -hmm. Um, they're just confirming the top 16 plays and uh, making sure you know, yeah, they're, they're all fine. Continue, nice, nice. What Man, do you think? Of, was, uh, do you think yeah. top 16 is good or top eight? I think, I mean, they both have like their merits. I mean, if you do top 16, then there's less of a chance for like the bubbles to not get in. And then you know it's it's very often that we see the bubbles actually make like win the whole thing, um, so I think that for that reason it's nice. And yeah, I mean I think the the main reason why top eight cut 
is even done in the first place is just to save time. So it's like if you have the time, it's like you might as well. I think like what we did was we cut around for Swiss, so we have an extra mm. round in like the top cut. Mm. So it allows everyone else in the Swiss to finish a bit earlier as well and get to the that's top. True, that's true. Yeah. So yeah. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully it works out. Hopefully people like top sixteen. But we're open. We're open to changes. This is just the first tournament. Um mm. I'm sure there will be more in the future as long as everyone is interested. So yep, yep, yep. let us know your thoughts in uh in the chat and uh See, see how it is. Yep, yep. How is um, how is it in WCC? I mean, I think a lot of the people in that are watching this, like, like the zero players, might not even know that like WCC is like a, a big deal. You know, it's like one of the biggest, <laughs> most most achieving teams in Vanguard itself. But like, how are you guys doing with uh, zero? Like, how are you feeling about it? I think zero zero is fine. Um, yeah. So like, quite a few of us play. Um, but we don't, mm. unfortunately, we don't stream as much because mm. um, we we just play on the phone, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's a bit harder to oh, stream, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, But yeah, a lot of us do play. I know several of us do play on JP as well, um, just because mm -hmm. some people mm. like Aquaforce. Uh, some people yeah. like Pelmoon more than, than BTO, BTO4 or 5 meta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, 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 no. Yeah, so we, we play on like both... Kind of, kind of both regions. I'm on both regions as well, but I more play on my yeah. uh, the JP region because uh, I just yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just keep on everything chariots, man. I don't I don't know why. Yeah, I yeah, open yeah. eight chariots by now. Yeah, so. <laughs> <It's> amazing. <laughs> I'm still missing one too. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, I only have three. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, so um, few of us play on both regions, but yeah, for me, I mainly play on JP, but I do have. I do have all the set four decks in English, so if we want to play on that, it's mm. all good. Um, nice, nice. Yeah. Otherwise, and are you feeling? Are you feeling like the potential? Like, what if you know, if if the official tournament is big, and like you know, sponsors start getting involved, and like the game starts feeling esportsy, you know, like Hearthstone <laughs> and stuff does. You know, do you want to like push the WCC, WCC out there? Is like you know, join us for the, the like zero branch and things like that. Sure. Like with. I mean, it's up to the it's up to our team teammates if they want to go hard. Um, several people do play a lot, like uh, I mean, himself. like Kel Kelvin. Kelvin, I got Kelvin into playing. At first, he was like, "I have an account, but I don't play." I'm like, you should play, man. You should play. So yeah, yeah. coming out, and uh, all those all your favorite edgy clans are, are coming out. So uh, <laughs> hop on the train, hop on the shadow train. So yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I got him on, and uh, yeah, several people are on. Um, but if you see like Derek and Toby, they played in like the Clash of Kings tournament by Vision. So oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Brian yeah. Kai and Hong Wai. Hong Wai streams. Go check out Hong Wai. Yeah, He's Hong, a funny Hong guy. Actually streams, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He turned on all his videos to Chinese lately. He's he's a he's a multilingual guy. So yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. He's he's getting the the Chinese <laughs> audience too. But he's in chat. Uh, he doesn't like heal triggers, but you know, hit him up. He's a he's 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 the Hong Wai we all all love, and. Uh, <laughs> he'll, he'll show you how to play some crazy. Well, if, if you watched his games from before, he played some crazy blouse, and now I'm not sure what he's on. I think he's on a he's on Royals. Royals. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, safe. Safe pick. Safe rank pick. He's out um, here to take names. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. Okay. Oh, um. But yeah, just like for paper though, very disappointing news about the uh, just the tournament. Yes. They, they cut it. Yeah. Honestly, like I saw it coming, and I kind of agree with with Solomon. Like they could have waited a bit longer, but they also like at least I think they had to say something by now because like I personally was already because like every year I'm used to like making a video like oh the dates and locations have been announced <laughs> or like you know BCS has been announced, and then I was looking at like my uploads from the last three years and it's always this week, <clears throat> sorry or like this week or next week. So I was like, okay, it should be around now that they either say okay, here's what we're gonna do but it's going to be like restricted and slow or here's what we're not going to do. <laughs> so <clears throat> I'm, I mean, I'm not surprised. It's just that like, because other card games like Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon and Magic, like they canceled their like circuits as well. But then the thing is for Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon, their circuits end in August. Mm -hmm. So it's like, they can just restart things in September or October once things come down. Whereas for BCS, because it starts in July slash August, Mm -hmm. It's like, yes, in August it probably isn't safe, but it might be safe by October. And then it's like, 
but then is it too late? You have to like organize yeah. all these events. October, November, December. And like late December is like it's like it's yikes because it's Christmas already, so nobody wants to even go. And then you got worlds like literally right after that. So it's like you delay worlds as well, it's like February. Mm. And then you know, then you gotta delay Spring Fest, and it's just kind of this like domino effect in a way. Right? Yeah, yeah. So I guess they, yeah, when you think about it, it's big brain, man. Check 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 the old videos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's I guess they didn't really have much of a choice then, so um Yeah, unfortunately. I'm yeah, I mean, I'm glad they're doing something. Like, the Shop League, honestly, I think it's a cool idea. At least there's something. Like, I personally, like, I get that it's not the same. It's not the same of, like, like especially the point of, like, traveling and seeing your, your friends. Like, that's the saddest thing for me. That was always my favorite part of BCS as a whole. Um, but, like, at least you can still do something competitively. And honestly, like, I think people should still be, you know, if you want, if you were already planning to build decks, or if, if you know... You're playing zero and you're like you want to play the trading card game with your friends or whatever or like you know just get back into it just to go to your locals you definitely should 100 percent like even if we don't have our big like competitive circuit of the year going on this year like mm -hmm. you should still um pick up the cards support the game like zero obviously is gonna keep it sustained you know zero is making crazy money but you know it's like it's 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 still the situation where i think it's it's worth to pick up your like you know your case splits and like your trial decks and your your boxes and your mlb special set god damn make sure you pick that up before they go out of stock <laughs> that that mlb set is actually fire like i i love it because it's like it's the best thing i wish it came out a little bit sooner because the only thing is that like now i get zero players in in my chat and stuff and they're like okay how do i get into the tcg and i'm like well literally the best product is mlb but you gotta wait three months, you know, no, four <laughs> months for it. Four months for it. So it's like, then I'm like, well, you probably want to pick up one of the new trial decks, you know? But then there's like, you know, even if you pick up the new trial decks, you're gonna have to, like, apart from Alt Mile, they're pretty expensive to upgrade, I guess. Because, like, for Asha, you need, like, Sylvia's, which aren't exactly that cheap. And, like, Irmin Soul is, I think, but it might be harder to get now. And then, like, Asha herself isn't that cheap, whereas, like, for Alt Mile, everything is, like, you know, pennies. But not everyone wants to play Alt Mile. Yeah. And the, the the unlucky thing about Alt Mile is that it is it is linked with uh with Royal Paladins. <laughs> mm, very true. But then for zero players that's fine because like they don't know what a Gear Chronicle is, you know. They they don't know what this like steampunk esque thing is because yeah. they, they quit because chaos exists, you know. <laughs> but um but then they know Royals. And like even if it looks different, they you know it's it's the only the weird thing about introducing players with alt mile is that the deck is built weird. You know, mm. you play like a bajillion gray twos, which you yeah. know normal Vanguard players don't in their normal other decks. But you know, it's like at least it's something somewhat familiar. I think the most beginner friendly out of those trial decks is definitely Asha, though. Yeah, I mean, you it's, just yeah. it's it's got the right ratios. Gives you free stuff. Gets... Yeah, it literally, like, <laughs> you read the cards, do what the cards say, and win. You know, it's like, it really yeah. is just that. <laughs> yeah, like, all the other decks, strange gimmicks, but Asha, man, looks good mm -hmm. as well. Looks good. <clears throat> your neck, yeah, nice to look at. Used, used to translate well into premium. Now you have to think a bit more, but it's kind of a good <laughs> thing as well. It's kind of a good thing as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, think, I think the best thing about... Um, most of the most of the new stuff at the moment that's coming out also goes well into premium because a lot of the premium decks are transitioning more into a into like standard based options. So yeah, yeah, um, yeah. it's just it, you kind of get two two bangs for your buck, I guess. You, you have a mm. good deck, works in standard, <clears throat> and then when you go to premium, you just have to get a few more strides, and you should be all good uh, with premium collection as well. So yeah, um, yeah. it's it's a good it's it's. A good time to get into Vanguard, even though the time is a bit weird. It's like a, it's a bit weird. Mm, People are still yeah, at home yeah. in some places, but you know, uh, it's it's gonna should go over pretty soon, and hopefully everything goes back to normal in twenty twenty one, maybe. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> I mean, you know, you look at look at New Zealand, right? They're right next to you. <laughs> They're doing <Yeah>. pretty good. <laughs> They're doing pretty good. Well, champions from New Zealand as well. So, uh, definitely hell yeah. Right. And, uh, oh, yeah. he, gets, he doesn't even have to defend his title this year. He just, yeah, he just gets to spit on it. <laughs> that, 
That that plane trip you took to Australia was the most worth it plane trip he ever did. Yeah, yeah, yeah was it? Yeah, Nuno trainer. as well. He he gets he's standard champion for two years in a row. So yeah, the so one time, <laughs> like literally, no, you will never ever again. Oh, I hope not. Be a two year long world champion. Two man. <laughs> wow, you can see if twenty twenty one is is not as good, then uh, <laughs> three year world champion. Three year world champion. <laughs> nah, take a seat. It's over. <laughs> Think optimistically. Think optimistically. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> now, 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 though, since they're doing the shop tournament thing, you can be like, you can, since it's like the only kind of tournament going on, you can take yeah, more yeah. pride in the shop tournament. Don't let people say oh, it was just it's the locals. Just the locals. Like, no, yeah, yeah. It's the shop tournament. It's the yeah, shop yeah. tournament. All right. <laughs> Bro, you're the world champion. I won the shop league, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So we, we've waited long enough. We're jump. We're jumping into the first top sixteen game. Uh, or <clears throat> one top sixteen game. It will be Jeru versus Salim. Um, so we've seen Jeru just then. He was playing uh, yeah. Royal Paladins. And a representation. Yeah, and then I'm not sure what Salim is playing, but but we'll see very soon. Very soon. Um. What are your bets? What are your best on Celine's deck? Uh, apparently, there were quite a lot of Kagura decks I heard as well. Oh. Yeah. Mm, knowing Celine, I would expect. Or I think it's Selena. I'm not sure how, how it's actually pronounced. It, it, but... Oh, it is yeah. Celine. No, no, no. There is a Celine. It's there Celine. is a Celine. Okay, okay. Yeah. But I think knowing them, it should be OTT, I would expect. OTT? But... Yeah, all the people from the Zero Championship can have their redemption, but oh no, it looks like Shadows that is not the case. Wow, okay. Oh, someone's already... Right. Javuru, yeah. the happy birthday, Asuka. <laughs> yes, I have, I have that equipped as well on, on Global. It's the best. <laughs> That's, it's, it's, it's pretty crazy. You know, I thought it was Aichi's birthday, but then next day, bam. He's, bam, Asuka. He's free stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. I'll take it. And, Man, uh, there was that one like insane that's like a fan art that popped up on her birthday and I was like, damn, we <laughs> like this community was capable of this this whole time. Ten years of waiting. Ten years of waiting for the one fan. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I am hungry. I am unfed, man. Do you have any idea like how long I've had in my bookmarks the Asaka Pixiv like oh, no. <laughs> like search tag? <laughs> Oh no, Celine, don't do this. Don't disconnect. <laughs> uh oh. Spaghettios. It's not a bad hand either. Literally, oh, wow. you got your grid one and two set up. But... You just oh, need no, to ride the Blaster Javelin. Mm hmm. Oh, wait, no, that was uh, that was the. No, he already wrote. Oh, just... that was Jororo, not yeah. hitting in the in the turn. Oh. So At Jororo. least okay, the game is safe, guys. The game is safe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, yep. So. What you do you feel about the, the attackers there? Oh, now that's interesting. You, you yeah, normally do like, play those twelve k attackers, right? Yeah, you play masquerade. It's like a budget masquerade, actually. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I mean, well, I don't, I don't fault them. Shadow Paladin is a. It's a tough, tough stuff to build, man. Yeah, but then look at this. It's like you have to now give them damage, and the next turn you have to call them out. Otherwise, they're going to be just kind of like dead the following turns. So yeah. you gotta like commit to the rush gameplay. Alright. It appears that Jororo did actually indeed disconnect. So it looks like we're gonna try to get them back up or see what happens with the game. I'm not sure what the penalties are with um with disconnects. We'll let the we'll, we'll see. We'll let the judges sort this one out. Um mm -hmm. is yeah, that's unlucky. Normally a disconnect post mulligan is a game loss. Um, mm. We'll let the judges sort out the uh, what, what they're gonna do because yeah, I think we'll another think so. looks like another game also had a disconnect too, so it might be the server. Oh no, that's bad timing. Yeah, I feel like it often goes into maintenance around this time too. I really when hope they, they don't go into maintenance. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, yeah, yeah. will have to wait. <laughs> yeah, another time. A lucky chat, you have to watch us talk a bit more about things. Um, Hell yeah. Talking heads. 
Oh, Tweet Tree. Do you think Zazan will get the ban? I do hope so. I do hope so. Absolutely, hundred percent. Have you like? Have you seen JP Twitter talk about all the Zazan going? It's actually pretty crazy. <laughs> it's actually a lot, and it's like I don't think I've seen such colorful insults thrown around by Japanese people in my life. <laughs> pretty crazy. Normally, normally they don't insult people. They just, they just. Uh... Yeah, how it's do like, you say? I don't think... I I just saw one like the the frequent use of like kasu and like just shine like go gomi and like things like that. And I'm like, damn, they don't like Zazen either. <laughs> yeah, like it, it's it's not a it's not a fun for not, not a fun card, unfortunately, not a fun card. No, no, no. Did you see <laughs> um? Did you see Haripin's time leap video? Oh yes, yes, I that... saw that too. <laughs> yeah, I was like, ooh, did like, oh, Koyo talk about it? Yeah. yeah. The two crazy videos were the the Harapin like time leap one, and mm -hmm. uh, the Rio Rio also I think Rio posted the one without the uh, the Bermuda one. Was it the, the Revere one? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. God, <laughs> it's crazy. And it's like it's interesting because like we're in the West. It feels like we've already like covered almost everything. That yeah. like you know all like the crazy dumb stuff that's happening with Zazan, like, either Zistral has, or, like, Toyo has, you know, like, there's plenty of people making noise about it, you know, mm -hmm. and, like, posing decklists and stuff, but then, like, with, like, JP just, like, focuses on different things, like, not necessarily that those are the best decks, like, compared to, I don't know, like, Ripple's Zazan, or, or OTT Zazan for the, for the time being, but they're still, like, hella damn strong, but... Yeah, like, I, th I think it's gonna die. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna get a remake of the previous game you just saw. So, we'll hop into yeah. it. Apparently there were some disconnection issues, so uh, we're just all mm. gonna restart them. Um, yep, yep. Yeah, interesting enough, I found with Zazan, you don't have to be smart with Zazan, just have to go face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's what a lot of the games went down to. It's like, I could do x y and z or i could just do x and then win <laughs> mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i think I, yep 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 it, so yeah we're gonna hop back into that game very soon um you've heard us talk enough but now we're gonna get into the games shadow paladin versus uh versus royal yeah yes and uh yeah 12k 12k beaters man 12k <laughs> beaters yeah 12k beaters We'll see what it amounts to. <laughs> I, one one thing that's really annoying about 12k cards in Zero is that they're just so annoying. They're, they're so annoying at grade two to like bash over. Yeah, they hit yeah, you yeah, for yeah, numbers, yeah. and they're not like they're not like the nine plus threes. They're like the, mm -hmm, the 12k. Mm -hmm. I'm just a 12k yeah, yeah, yeah. committed. Twelve minus five. Twelve minus seven. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's 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 pretty pretty interesting how like especially when like because english didn't really get to feel it but when we had the amber meta in jp mm -hmm. like all the way back in january like that, that was part of the reason why it was so annoying is because like you didn't have the card pool yet to like even for a lot of clients to even hit over the 12k so we just sat there and struggled and it's like you're playing Tsukuyomi, it's like if you don't draw into your 12k you got to like commit all these boosters and stuff and you're trying to play stands and like you know do <clears throat> all these shenanigans but then nothing's working out yeah. But I, that's actually it's crazy when you think about it because yeah, in English they released the nerf version of Amber, so you're like, wow, this mm. this deck is very fair and balanced. But you know, yeah, when you yeah. don't have cards to play out, nothing is hitting 12k. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. It's yeah, uh, yeah. So 12k is actually annoying. I'm I'm actually impressed that they they made this kind of this card really like strong, even for like a like a budget kind of deck, just because you know. Yeah. You might not get all the cards you need, but bam, at least there are some usable cards here that yeah, you can yeah, do it. Exactly. What do you guys right. think about the game rewards in English Zero compared to JP Zero? Look, English Zero just came out. They're gonna get it's gonna get better, trust me. It's it's gonna mm. get better. Like uh, I think the big I think the biggest thing was like the Aichi birthday, right? It was like combined yeah. with like the six month anniversary. It, it, like all the free stuff is literally the half anniversary and mm. so i don't know i just tell people like come on let's count all together now 
April goes first. May <laughs> comes second. June, that's three. It's not six. <laughs> Yeah, they, they, they're you gonna know. do these anniversary things, guys. We, we got mm -hmm. we got pretty much all the events that uh that yeah. JP has gotten. So eventually we'll be getting something similar. And I like, think it, it literally will be the same. I'm I'm a hundred percent sure. It's like just, they, wait until what, like October? That's yeah. when the half an hour will be. Yeah. yeah like so they, you they, can buy you can buy your MLB special set and celebrate the half anniversary. What a great time. <laughs> like they just I think the biggest thing they did was they com they combine one of the sets together just to catch up, but we're nearly there. Mm. We're nearly there. So uh, yeah, it's not like people are uh, fearing that they're gonna do it again for a limit break. Oh really? You think so? I mean, I I don't know at this point because it's like, what are you combining them for? Because like I, I feel like they're trying to catch up, but I don't know if I don't think they're gonna merge because like just because you, you you feel me when I say like the culture of the servers is different. Yes, you know, hundred yeah, percent. Like. Yeah, 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 it's like you don't have VP farmers in GP until like the last day of season when it's like people literally just finishing up the 1.2 million one. Mm -hmm. um, and then like, you know, it's it's normal to just like run games. It's normal to spend a lot of money as well. You know, it's like that's another thing. It's like in, in English, it's always like, well, you spent money? You spent money on the game? What? Crazy? Whereas it's like... <laughs> in in J in Japanese, it's like you'll get asked like "namban kaking shitano." You know, it's like how many how many tens of thousands of yen did you spend this month? So it's like, you know, it's like it's a completely different perspective towards the game too. Okay, but, so we're back yeah. in the game. Uh, this time, Celine. Oh. Top deck still that jab. The, yeah, still got the javelin. <laughs> I was told that apparently, if you mulligan five, it's a, it's a seventy one percent chance to draw the javelin. Yeah, that's what you guys should be doing. No. Mulligan yeah, mulligan yeah, yeah. everything. Mulligan yeah. everything. Yeah. You can leave in the 71. And uh, sort you out. Sort you out. And it's, wow, look at... Yeah. Yeah. Like, the hand is maybe better for Celine, do you think? Mm -hmm. This game? Mm, definitely, yeah. I mean, you got your smooth write-up. You don't have to commit the Dona Schlag on turn two now. You can keep it for... Turn three. Interestingly, both Masquerade and Donnerschlag are being run, so it's like just all mm -hmm. the 12k attackers just going ham on that. Here we're gonna see. Juror's hand is not bad either. Mm. Yeah, just He's... literally missing one more blaster. But I mean, you basically ride the blaster dark, you'll search another one with the Star Call, and you're praying to like join to a Ganslaughter or another blaster blade here. Yeah. You basically, got, got everything in your hands. But like, if, this isn't a matchup at all where you get damaged knight as well, so you could. Like, he can mm. very well get what he needs pretty easily, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, looks like he he will. He so. didn't really commit much else, though. Would, would you have, like, committed something like a like a 2 and a and a Charon? Yeah, just like to push damage? 20k column? Yeah. I think you can, because, like, you can always replace it next turn. And you, your hand is chilling with attackers right now. So it's like, yeah. unless you're trying to do something fancy with PBD next turn, which, like, is very rare. Um... You usually, you can afford to go for that early aggression. Like if you're giving damage already, you might as well go harder on it. Otherwise, just pass. Yeah. Turn. I mean, you even have Bob Carr that can get you more cards too. So exactly, exactly. That's what I mean. Uh, and it's not like he's gonna spend that counter blast to uh to retire stuff. So that means no mm. no wingle graves. Exactly. Yeah. And but Jeruru here is definitely doing the op. Well, he can't do it as effectively because he doesn't have a Marin. So his thing only gets mm, nine. Yeah. yeah. Well, nineteen will do too. Most likely. And he triggered a heal before, so the chance of triggering mm. a heal now to, to screw him over is slightly less. It gets just a draw. Heal, just on heal here. Mm -hmm. Confirms basically two damage here, which is great. His next turn, you mm -hmm. get to MLB. MLB for yeah, the reading, reading, actually. Mm -hmm. I'm just eating up PGs already if uh, Celine can join to any. Uh, the thing is, Celine doesn't have any PGs, which is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which might be bad times. <laughs> yep. This could evolve Wingle. into a X. Wingle Brave should be searching a Blaster Dark here, just because it should have yep. like less Blaster Darks. Mm -hmm. And, uh... Yeah, then you can just tutor with the Starfall next turn and you're good. Yeah. Let your opponent give you two damage, which they most likely will. Oh, but th there is a situation where you might not. Selene's getting a lot mm. of draws, but... Yeah. Drew another Bob Carr, which is a. Uh, I mean, Bob Carr is a great mm. card. But this yeah, kind yeah. of like 
Makes it so PBD can kind of use its effect and not feel bad, but I feel like that might not be the best way to do it. Yeah, push high yeah. damage, but... What do you get in return? Yeah, and you give him Star Call, but that kind of seals your fate in a way. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say. It looks like he's just going to develop a board and keep the bad board cards for now. I just want... It's going to push two damage here, see? It's like, hmm... So it's like not going for any anything super aggressive, not going for like anything too too um, safe either. But just going for the middle ground, which gives two cannon blasts, which gives the ah uh, well, draws into the gans lot. So I guess that also sets up for it. But then the thing is that now the two cannon blasts can go to the blaster blade, which means that that Joro can like go in. Do the fourth damage and then just go in with MLB for the for the final one. And yeah, that's it. Beta sealed. Yeah, I feel giving that damage there was wrong. Um, now he now Selene is basically hoping for something like a damage check yeah. draw into the null. All right. Yeah, I guess now is just the the situation where. I think for Joro, it's just legit go Blaster Blade, pop the Donner Slag, call down the Blaster Dark, trade the Masquerade, and then just go face with Blaster Blade, face with MLB. And that's all she wrote. <clears throat> yeah. It's, as you can see, Blaster Dark retiring uh, the Donner Slag. Um, reason why this is, people say this deck is rises on steroids, just because you get to retire things. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Aren't bad. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah. And then, yeah, and you end games quick. You end games quick, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick claim. Quick yeah, game. Top 100. Top 100. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, actually, I'm, I'm actually pretty interested. What is the top one playing? He's definitely playing MLV, right, this season. But, you know, Probably, I've, yeah. I've been surprised before. I've been surprised before. And we see the fresh text here. Look at that. The, the 11k attacker <laughs> and the Donner Schlag. It's like, you don't see those every day. Budget better be coming out to play. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe it'd be funny if he's actually running four better views and he's like, I just love beaters. I'm running this yeah, as my yeah. one-off slot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need... But how... I guess you... How do you make space for that? Because you're already like... it's You can't even max better viewers or star calls. Thanks to the blades. It's... uh No, it'll be like... Yeah, that's actually no good reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't even have a one up slot in this in this deck. <laughs> the grade two slot is either bling bling or like uh a lucky you're running the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> Into the whiff to heal. But for Celine, this is literally a question of healing out and with two battle cards in hand. I don't Pray know about for the that last Bob, Bob Carter yep. come out in the next two damage checks. Yeah. Ooh, that's oh, the PG needed. And yikes. That's going to seal the deal. Yeah. So, Doro takes that one as well. Very solid showing. It's got, his, uh, it's got his Ren skin as well, as you can see. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. So, Royals doing what Royals does best going face and destroying your face really quickly. Mm, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Also, I saw in chat people were saying that I was like hating on free to play. That's not the case. I was just trying to explain the, the kind of, just the realities of the Japanese server and how people look at spending. Um, so it's not so much hating. I'm just saying that there's a difference in perspective. So it's, it's very interesting actually. That, like there's a difference in perspective and that kind of. In that like regard. one thing you find in uh like, like for mobile games at least, especially the gacha mm. games, is in the in the east everyone is happy to spend money. And yep. happy to <clears throat> gotcha and like, you know, situations where they don't get what they want happens. It's just part of life. But yeah. in the West, they definitely, there's like a big stigma against spending, spending the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. money for, uh, for for things. So it's just, it's just yeah. how it is, basically. It's just how it is. I wonder, I wonder if, if Japanese kids are told by their parents, like, don't spend your money on, on mobile games. Because I remember being told by my parents, like, don't spend money on like... <laughs> Cosmetics and games, you know, don't don't buy that League of Legends skin. <laughs> <laughs> really? They know about League of Legends? <laughs> <laughs> you see, yeah. my, 
my household was different. They're like, have you done your homework? Did you get an A? Have you got an A? No? Are you a doctor no. yet? <laughs> <laughs> You're not allowed oh, to man. play card games. It's like, oh. <laughs> oh. So, oh, sorry, mom. sorry, parents. I'm playing card games now. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, mom. Sorry, dad. <laughs> but yeah, this no. is my life now. You know that, that, that meme of like, oh no, Jimmy. <laughs> Sorry, mom. This is my life now. <laughs> oh my god. Now, like, yeah, that that's the big difference between West and East. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think you see like in in the in the West a lot of when you buy a game, you also expect to get everything, right? You're like, oh. Mm. I, 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 I bought this game. I don't want to spend any more. Maybe a DLC comes out later. Uh, that, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to have microtransactions. But in in the East, a lot of the games just a lot of people play free to play games, right? And then the microtransactions yeah. are just like a just like a daily thing, you know, a way of life. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Badly as that sounds, a way yeah. of life. Yeah, that's like terrible. Yeah, <laughs> and it's like there's there are people that get around not spending. It's almost like. I feel like I remember when when Alan won the Vanguard Zero Championship, and then people were like, "Are it looks like his MLB list is a little bit incomplete." And it's like, yeah, actually, I don't spend. And then I could feel that some people were like, "Hmm," like this kind of like, "So you don't spend and you won," mm. <laughs> you know? Whereas yeah. like I feel like in the West it's like, "Oh my God, he didn't spend and he won, yo," you know? Like, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Exactly. <laughs> but Whereas, that- that was yeah. actually a great story, the the Allen story, where he's like, "My MLB is not complete because <laughs> I don't want to spend money on it." <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Shows, best, right? Honestly. Guy, free to play players, you have a chance of winning yeah. the Vanguard Championship. That is, what was it, fifty thousand gems? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you won't have to spend any more if you got fifty thousand gems. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You would make bank because you get those cards as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, oh, exactly. Uh, Big shmoney, big shmoney, big big shmoney, big dosh, dosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, let me just have a quick check on what's happening with top sixteen. How many? Uh, how many have finished? Okay, top eight is happening soon, apparently. So, uh, we'll be yes. All sixteen is done. So they're just working out the uh, the pairings. Should be pretty quick because, you know. Pairings don't get randomized in the top cut, so yep, yep. yeah. What, what do you guys want to see? What what, what does do, do you want to see more MLB or do we want to see something like Kaguru? Uh Kaguru, Shadows, maybe something else? Do, do, do... Ooh, Ooh so, we're gonna get our EU representation up on the next game with Arake. So it's gonna be pretty hype. Kaidir. Yes. Interesting. Uh, not sure what they're playing. What do you think Arake is playing? Hmm. I feel like in. I feel like you would probably go with a safe pick of MLB at first. Because <laughs> <laughs> it really is just safe, safe. But when in doubt, we'll yeah. when in doubt MLB. I mean, there's three oh, choices. Yeah. Um, apparently, Shadow is not as high as the other two. So there's hmm. actually two choices if you want to play it safe. So. We can we can yep. do we can do the, the the bets, all right. Okay. I reckon Kaguru. We'll see a Kaguru in the next game. Mm. <laughs> pray, I can see Kaguru. Yeah. Pray for Kaguru. No no Tejas nerf, it's still around, it's still ruining your first vanguards. <laughs> mm. Ooh, we are indeed gonna be according to your prediction, gonna be getting Kaguru and Royals. So we're both right. We're both right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It comes yeah. down to if Araka is the one playing Royals. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true, that's true. You have Let's to find out. Yeah, the, the predictions have to be more general, man. More general. Actually, I, I asked you the question, so you had, <laughs> you had no chance. Oh to yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> calculated, man. Calculated. Yes. <laughs> Actually calculated. You know what's crazy though is I love the rank reward system, and you know the rank reward system in English is actually super easy to get compared to JP. But mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you know, like, Vanquisher is one of the rewards, right? Vanquisher? You mean Vermilion? Oh, no. no sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Vermilion is one of the rewards, right? Yeah. Vanquisher could be in a... It may be yeah, six, like, 
<laughs> Honestly, I mean, G Vanquisher next year, dude. Like, wow. <laughs> I, I did like a mental timeline and I honestly see like we're going into break ride in August. Break ride will probably be like August, September, October for like because September will be like Jewel Knights, Liberators, all that stuff. Yep. Then August rather. Then September will probably be like Revengers, maybe Link Joker, and like the start of reverses. <laughs> and then more reverses and like Minerva probably in like October. And you know, then it's like it's probably gonna be done with Break Ride by like January, February, I wow. would say. Potentially. And then Legion wasn't that long. <laughs> like we all remember Legion as being this like big deal, but it wasn't long. That's the thing. It, it only had like yeah. two main sets and two extra boosters. Three extra boosters if you count the movie one not being merged. Mm -hmm. So it's like that's like what four months of support again? Yep. So you're looking at like what May, June? G baby, let's go. <laughs> I am ready. I am ready to time leap in September 2021. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have no idea how they're gonna do G. <laughs> well, even I mean, zero. Like, <laughs> yeah, true, true, true. I mean, they'll, they'll manage. They'll manage. They'll figure it out. They, feel, they, they figured out Legion and Standard, so they'll figure it out. For yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they can just bring back Legion how it was. It's just that they need to like the problem with Legion wasn't Legion as a mechanic. It was how they distributed the support. So what they need to do is instead of like misdistributing everything they need to like pull out some of the like stuff they released in g that was legions you know yeah true true there was quite them in the zero sets quite a lot of legions released in g and uh yeah that you know that's why the legion era felt so bad for some people because they were like well i play pale moon <laughs> you know <laughs> or i play dark irregulars <laughs> so i mean yeah that's you think about those clans and you'd be like, did Legion even exist for that? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Whereas me sitting here as a DP main, literally the peak of the clan. That was like that was such a good that was such a good Legion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Oh man. I think that's also a bit of the charm of Legion though. Like half like I, I feel like the transition from Legion into G was like perfect. Because it was oh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. You had the old mechanic that was still somewhat relevant going into the new going to the new season, yeah. but it, it was just less. It was just less, of course. But you know, offered like two different playstyles, or could just combine mm -hmm. like just more options in the game. And mm -hmm. um, I think it's something that that's just really it's really good. It's really good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So All right, we're gonna go into the next game. game now. Um, yes. Rocky. This is Kaidia. So yep. it looks like you're right. You're right. Araki is on the yeah, yeah. Royal Paladin train. Got him. Kager. We're gonna see. We're gonna see the Wingle Brave versus the uh, the Tages. <laughs> oh uh, yes. <laughs> Try to outsmart the the placement of Wingle Brave. Bank <laughs> on them having only one Tages. I think. I think what's interesting though is I've seen a lot of a lot of players liking Burning Horn. Burning Horn, like, mm, yeah, on. yeah. I think, I think it comes down to uh, whether you like Stricken or not, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stricken is like it's it's interesting because it's like in the MLB matchup, especially you don't want to be giving them damage anyway. Yeah. So you you're pretty happy to just like okay, right pass, you know. Mm -hmm. So, especially because then you can just make them go zero to four with the end. So, yeah. it's like it probably is still being played. Ah, yes, Team Ventura. That is uh, Nuno's team. So, two, two time world champion now. <laughs> the, the two year world champion, baby. And just, in case you guys don't know, Nuno, he was third place in like 2000 and, uh, I think 2017. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The first time I actually met Nuno. Um, mm -hmm. Same, same. Yeah. Uh, actually, I saw him play someone at like one of the hotels as well. It's pretty funny. I was like, oh, is mm. that? That's Nuno. I said, <laughs> mm. uh, Kago opening up with uh, Gojo, which is a. Uh, yep. Always a good sign. Optimal opening, actually, right? Because you don't get yep, to attack yep, yep. Type, But now. Oh, decided not to use the skill. I guess his hand is pretty nice. The only thing you would discard is like. Like, you don't even want to get rid of the bar because you got all these, like, great twos that need boosting now. <laughs> so, I mean, it's... Yeah. Bar's good. It's 8k. It's 8k. <laughs> yeah. In a, in a way, with Kagura, right, you don't really need to 
you don't really need to like dig for your null because you already get one confirmed with uh with connor anyway i mean he just drew another one so kai um, yeah. <laughs> but no tages there is no tages mm, so, uh, that's very important so now it's like do you start passing and just stall it out no it looks like it's gonna <laughs> just get damage like, well even if i stall it's not gonna get me anywhere Let's just yeah yeah and he's got he's got the bar he can he can put it behind the, the Harlem and just deal two damage right there. Yeah, yeah it's like confirm two damage no matter what. Especially with two nulls as well. That's like it's like uh, two turns of safety, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the Rocky, counter charge as well. Rocky really showing that he's uh, got, got another draw. His hand is his hand is stacked. He has everything. He actually has everything. <laughs> it's actually it is actually the correct play to go face here because. Rocky won't need that Wingle Brave at all. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Yeah, you don't. He can just ride the Blaster Blade. Um, yep. Can even put back the Ganslots right now because uh, you could even use Blaster Blade skill. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, because like when your hand is that stacked, you might as well actually start just yeah. hopping <laughs> off. Is. Like, bye. <laughs> put back the Ganslots to heal off that damage as well. Like, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go for it, just go for it. <laughs> yeah, he's doing it. That, that's one. Yeah, let's he's see the second top, one. Nope, he's never top mind. 100 batter, man. He's a... Yeah, yeah, he's stacked. Tr triggers a blast of blade, goes to bottom of the deck, it doesn't matter, I have another Gansler anyway, you know? Mm. <laughs> oh my god. I think, what, what's funny is that, you know how we watched a bunch of Royal Paladin games as well, and they, they had this problem where they had all the pieces, but they have no nulls, and they had to dig for it, right? But this... Okay, he's even got the nulls! <laughs> he's got yeah, it all! Yeah. <laughs> he literally has, like, the game handed to him on turn zero. <laughs> it's pretty wild. Yeah, it, it's, it's another draw trigger as well. Oh my god. At least this still hits. If he hits one more draw, he's actually overdrawing. That's one thing. <laughs> at, at this point, it doesn't really matter to him, right? It's deck thinning. Yeah, it's like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> deck winning, baby. Deck winning. Deck fitting is deck winning. <laughs> yep. I, I, oh, he draws another. Oh nut. my god. This is. What is this? I think this is the uh, the early morning European brain. That, you know, yeah, wake yeah, up yeah. Morning, your brain is you know, just hype. You know. Yeah. Literally yeah. poured coffee into your phone. <laughs> Let's go. It's gone galaxy brain right here. Galaxy brain, galaxy luck. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. I, I don't know like, how you can get better than this. It can't. It can't, right? Yeah. Even retire this this 10k that's blocking the way. He can just call down the offer because not, he can't doesn't have a way of hitting 11 without the PG call. So mm. he's better off calling it like this. Ah. He can retire for next turn to actually like seal the deal. Because this will just, like what, push him to 4. And yep. next turn you can just like, start popping off. And there's really no choice on high damage. There's not really much ways he can mm -hmm. die, I guess, with those four cards in his hand. Yeah. And now for Kaidir, it's like he's kind of in a situation where it's like he's just going to be sitting on a bunch of PGs and like no other resources in hand. So it's like, what do you even do? Oh, he even draws another Blast of Dark. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, right. maybe you can you top that. Yeah, but that was. Those dry triggers are actually pretty bad. He was he needed draw he needed draws. Yeah, he he really did. Oh, he Ooh, he now. I mean, that's something actually because you can pop the. I guess you pop Wingle Brave here to punish yeah. him for not searching. And then he nailed the uh the Lian. The Lian, yeah. I choose not to do it, so I'm just gonna get rid of the Lian. Really? That's all it. I mean, it doesn't really do much, I guess. Oh my god. <laughs> god. Those triggers, man. Just saying. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Rocky is just popping off like no tomorrow. Ooh. Finally gets a draw. It's a heal. Draws the heal. Oh man. Oh, man. At least he can hit. God, for a second I was like, oh my god, it's another trigger. <laughs> At least Araki is on five right now. He's a, uh, he's. I mean, Kaguru doesn't really hit tech more than 
three times unless you reach down at the end, but that needs to hit. That's not gonna yeah, do yeah. Vanguard all the time, so. Araka is still super safe. Super safe. He uses yeah. alpha skill. Right, deck thinning, deck winning. That's right. I wonder how big uh, Araka's deck is. It should be. Yeah, honestly. It's really been through quite a lot. And then, I mean, we've seen a handful of triggers here and there, but, you know. <laughs> oh my god. He's still doing it, man. <laughs> it's, not over. it's not over. He's not He's not satisfied yet. And, I mean... God, I can kill it. Like, if he blasts through all his, all his luck in this game, it's like, he's still got top four in finals. <laughs> <laughs> like, chill. if you think about... Oh, wow. Another, another null here. If you think about it, he still has... He's seen eight triggers. That means there's five triggers left in Arake's deck. Right? It's yeah. I'm going. The yeah. trigger never ends, you know? He's actually drawn into two heals already. That's so disgusting. Yeah. But I guess here you might even want to use Overlord to like clear the front row. I actually know it doesn't really matter because like you can clear the front row and then swing. Oh, he's doing it. Yeah, he's, he's doing his. He'll be like swing at like both rears, then swing with the 12k. And then swing with the fan to try and take lethal, and then if he gets a trigger on the 12k on the other side, he can like take another PG out. So he's like basically going like, okay, if you have two PGs, I guess I scoop. If you don't, I win. No, no, uh, if, if he has two PGs, he wins, right? But Oh, no, no, that's, sorry, he's on four damage. Forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so like now there's like a 12, but then here he needs to not pop a defensive, which he does not. Naturally, after all, all that. I feel like, what is the point of calling the second 12? Because you're not triggering. Oh, wait. Yeah, wait, you're not actually finding triggers. Yeah. I feel like it's better not to have used Overlord's effect. And, um... Yeah, I was thinking about that, too, because you push... The thing is, you push one damage, and you don't get... Um... You don't get a PG out if you don't use Overlord. So yeah. I guess he was just trying to go for, like, okay, maybe... You've been drawing, and, like, you got your pieces, but maybe you didn't have PGs. Which, I mean, they weren't putting up in drive checks or, or damage checks, which, so I guess it kind of means something. But, let's find out. Alright, will he yeah. swing with rear gear first, just for the no. Oh my. Stop, please! It's already over! <laughs> I think it's three turns in a row that he just pops the heal. Yeah. I mean, hey, okay, technically that... That was maybe a misplay, would you think? Would you? I think attacking with that last would have confirmed it, right? Because if yeah, yeah. Heidi got a heal there, that might have been bad, but... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Trigger. That, that crazy... <laughs> how, do you, how do you even beat that? There's, there's no way you beat that! <laughs> yeah. I think Gustavo and Chad put it pretty well. This is one of those games. <laughs> <laughs> so, someone doesn't want Araki to lose that. Just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just... Oh my god. Look, it, it, it was just a rough start, like no Tejas, no Strikens, like no ways to counteract the MLB, so it's like, what do you even do in that case? Uh, I think, I think the, the big killer in the game there was Kaidi didn't really trigger any draws. Like, mm, no draws yeah. to, get, to get just more cards to play down. And the other thing is, he doesn't have the end, so he doesn't have just, you know, cards that just, like, filtering more cards into his hand kind of thing, so... His hand! Mm. Although it didn't have a Tejas, it wasn't, like, unplayable. It wasn't bad, I'd say. It was, like, it was a playable hand, but just not getting any draws is pretty... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No draws slash no the end kind of thing. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, Arake right, moves on to top four. Uh, the European yep. dream is still alive. Still yeah, alive. the one of The one of <laughs> still out here. MLB guys, I call him. <laughs> What's... Basically, <laughs> probably, yeah. Probably better than Psycholius. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. <laughs> Literally handed everything. And it's got the S. Yeah, the SP SP Majesty Lord Blasters. You know, that's, that's actually crazy. Like, I didn't know that after you cr you open four cards, you could start crafting SPs. I actually, didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't typically get to that point. <laughs> I think with commons though they're really cheap, right? The SP commons. Yeah, five hundred. Yeah. So, if you really wanted to like be cheap on max rearing your deck, 
just, just do it for the comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. at least get the comments. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I usually do for the like when you have to do the daily to like craft a card. I always just craft a common SP. Eventually, I'll have all common SPs in the game. <laughs> that's. I. I, I... I've only, I only realized that yesterday, because I saw oh, Toby's God. deck, and I'm like, wow, how did you get everything just nearly max surety? And he's like, you just crafted, dude. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs> what did you just you craft? Oh, you had to crack his feet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> So, yeah. Oh, Pro tip, guys. That's how max max tune your, your zero deck. It's not as expensive as max tuning your real life deck. <laughs> Pro tip. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, if you're trying to max out, like, triples, mm -hmm. I don't know, man. <laughs> that, that might get a bit more expensive than, than IRL. <laughs> Depends. How, wait, how much How much a multiplier increase is an SP? Do you know? You remember off it's, the top it's of actually really... I don't remember off the top of my head, but it's really big. Like, it's... Uh, I think it's, like... I want to say it's double the mats. Double the mats? I think so. Wow. I okay. think for the rare pieces, it's, like... I think for triple, because like normally the craft triple is four hundred rare pieces. Yeah, I think it's a thousand to for rare pieces alone. Thousand. So I think for double rares, then it's it's it's. I can't remember. Like I could probably check, but it's it's a lot. It's really a lot. <laughs> you know what? That's, I'm kind of curious now. Yeah, no. everyone, bring out your phones. <laughs> bring yeah, out your yeah, phone yeah. on stream. Oh, what phone do you have? Do you have a? <laughs> <laughs> What is the yeah. best phone we should be playing using for a yes. and God the, the, the optimization. <laughs> this, is, this is how you get ranked, guys. You get a strong yeah. phone that never crashes. <laughs> <laughs> strong phone. <laughs> strong phone loads faster. All right, this makes less. This is hell yeah. <laughs> Damn, ranked. I actually. Yeah, this is pretty bad. It's so it's still a hundred triple rare pieces, which is okay. That's nice, at least. Yeah. And that's not too bad, actually. It's it's 100 triple rare, 200 double rare, but it's 2,000 rare pieces. <laughs> Bro, I don't... Even, even for DP, I don't have that many rare pieces. <laughs> it's like five... It, it makes sense, right? Because the common is five times the amount to craft it, right? At least... Yeah. At least it's going to five times the triple us. <laughs> oh my god, imagine. Wow, that's it's actually not too bad. Ooh. All right, so we're gonna go to next game, which is Serena versus Voucher Million. Is that top four already? Top four, yeah. Okay. So we so from the US. Um, yes, we get all the international international coverage. I think Serena, her channel used to be Fang Shaman. I think that's pretty yep, yep. famous. So. Yeah, Serena Big now. Community. Yeah, so Serena now showing the world. It's top four. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm... I think she's on MLB. Mm. And uh, who, who was the let me? Who's the other person? Um, be hopping into that very soon though. But you know, there's an MLB coming up. The the everyone's favorite main character protagonist clan. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Val Charmeleon is the big, the, the, is the opponent. Oh, Val Charmeleon, okay. Yeah. Um, do you think it's going to be an MLB Mirror or is it going to be Kaguro? <laughs> is this what we're going to ask every round? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, good, good question. Honestly, like, it could go both ways. I don't know. It's like we. I haven't seen the statistics of the tournament. Oh, all right. Looks like never mind. We got we got the confirmation. It's MLB Mirror. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy watching MLB Mirrors. Did you, did you see the, uh, the the DF stall? He's like, oh, wait for the answer, guys. I've got I've got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to get it. Just I'm still thinking. <laughs> Waiting so, for the voice. Too so smart, above. man. Too so smart. <laughs> yeah. But, oh man. Spoilers. MLB is going to be around for a while. Get used to it. Get used yes. to it. MLB is MLB's meta. Uh, I mean, MLB was meta for like uh, in paper for like a year. All right, so could be. Oh, 
So actually, we're doing we're facing we're going back to Arake, and uh, he's facing Regan. So it's EU versus the Filipino, uh, on, the one Filipino person, and it's gonna be an MLB mirror match. So mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, I think it's just one one from Europe, one from uh, Philippines. Uh, so nice. unfortunately, this is, one of them is gonna be be uh be losing this. This game so one one dream will die but uh yeah <laughs> one will yeah, continue so <laughs> damn but which, it is gonna be gonna be you think will win <laughs> <laughs> pick your flavor of of mlb <laughs> i mean Araki Araki was pretty dominant in that previous yeah, game. yeah 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 if i was gonna if i was gonna put anything i'll put it on a rocket but Maybe he used his luck for that game. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of interested if those if their decks are like just the same. Mm hmm. Because I know I mean, there there is like there arguably is an optimal list. Mm hmm. With you know, in my opinion, two two star goals, three bit of years, and and then like the Palamedes, but. Yep. Many people like to divert from that a bit. And pretty interesting. Alright, we're getting into it. Foreign. Hey, at least we get different skins. Right? <laughs> 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 oh, that's my god. Free <laughs> wow, putting a hand on that like side. God damn it. He's doing it again. <laughs> Fake VP farmer alert, guys. <laughs> oh my god. Interesting enough, Regan has the full MLB set, uh, but Araki yep. has the Shadow Paladin sort of in the main as the Avatar. So I don't know if this changes anything. You know, does the ML MLB fanboy stronger stronger opening? But Araki, it's got got a nicer looking Avatar. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Araki. Yeah. I just wonder if they're gonna just like pass for five turns or not. <laughs> you know. Because that's what this mirror... Like, this mirror only goes two ways. One, <laughs> pass for five turns. Two, you both just bash face. I mean, like... With this... <laughs> Regan has every reason to bash face right now, actually. You can just go, like, K, and yeah. then with Iron, and just, like, go, like, okay. Just brr. But will he? Will he do it? Yeah. Because the thing is, if you go brr, then your opponent's like, well, you gave me the counter blast, I'll brr back, and then... You know, oh you both have kind of us, you're both happy, but no. oh, he's going we're the... coming in to the, <laughs> let's, let's just go like, how many rounds of passing do you predict? Mm. We're at one. Who's going to break first, basically, right? Who's going to break yeah. first? Uh, I already have my guess. Oh, really? Who, who do you think? I think that, so now, Araki is going to pass, and then... Regan will ride and pass again, and then Arake will ride and pass again, and then finally Regan will swing. Oh, really? Because this way, he doesn't let him, um, basically, he doesn't let him search on the grade two. So, basically, like, it's not like he swings and searches MLB. Because the whole point in the mirror to not swing here is, I mean, he did, but <laughs> to not swing is to not let them ride up to grade three if you don't have the MLB. But here, oh. well, look at that premium tech, though. <laughs> Damage and I, oh! bro. I run six K grade ones, so I can swing under, bro. <laughs> Power <laughs> to my starter. <laughs> so here, it's correct for Regan to ride the bit of you, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. now it's he's kind of he wanted the blaster blade. It was bad, man. Yeah, he's Regan just kind of. Yeah. That looks like if you want to give it to your point. He does not, no. Wow, that was that was the quickest pass. He didn't even have to think, man. I mean, he just yeah. went... Click that end turn, <laughs> end turn button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Must, 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 must be the VP farming, man. It's like, oh, I'm so, so skilled at the MLP right now. It's just so fast. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I think now, this is where Arake finally cracks and just goes like, all right, here we go. It's time to start pulling on the damage, but we'll see if he does. When, when your opponent doesn't ride a blaster, it either means he has the nuts, or he doesn't have anything, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
problem for Araki is like he doesn't have MLB itself, so he's, he's just stuck in this weird position of like, well, I mean, um, huh. Would you even ride the Alfred next turn? Or no, 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 no. Stay on, stay on Dark. At least you can like you're stuck on Grade Two for another turn, but at least you can search. Like, what, what, like Alfred isn't getting you far or anywhere really. All right. Game. Mm. So. Basically, you can develop a board here that just like you could even put Blaster Blade and Dark in the same column and like do like a bit of your K column, but but he chooses to get rid of his, in his intercepts. I mean, how many is all this Blaster Blades out now? Because uh, it's two guests. No, he still has. Yeah, he still has Blaster Blades in deck actually, because he didn't ride it. Remember, so he still actually has three in deck. So he just shows them put them back. It feels like you you would, right? Or mm -hmm. I mean, sure, you, you you whiff, but I guess I think he just doesn't want to risk like healing on one. Mm. Yeah, no, they go to the I guess. bottom. I guess it's... he wants yeah. to capitalize on the searching. Yeah, hopefully for Araki, he still gets to heal out and oh, okay. oh I didn't draw to the other elite. That's unfortunate. So he's on three in this like weird position of like, well now, like if I don't draw an LB here, I gotta like stay on Blaster Dark and search. I mean, he can uh, he can top deck. Yeah, <laughs> he's been doing that pretty well. <laughs> Actually, no, he's been drawing consistently at the start rather than top decking. So I think the scary thing is for a lot of players is that they they don't know like or, or they just don't want to stay on a grade two when your opponent's at grade three because it feels pretty intimidating, right? It's, it's coming at you with a yeah, grade, yeah. okay? But it's just so much more beneficial for you to get your MLB next turn rather than ride an Alfred and hope you somehow get the MLB. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, I think you just want to like you can even. I don't know. You can technically like call out one of your spare blaster blades here to make a 17k column with the Marin. So at least you can push some damage so you're not falling behind that much. And he's gonna like put back all the cancel to like maximize his chance of healing. I think you just call one of the blaster blades with the Marin. Like, you'll lose it to a blaster blade, but you can't fall behind on damage that much right now. That's right, yeah. I mean, just hope your opponent doesn't get a trigger. Yeah. It's the only thing you can he do. Has option, he has the option of just setting up these intercepts for the sole sake of, like, okay, at least this way you have to get through both of them before you can, like, take my PG out. <laughs> well, really deck star call for the deck fitting. Yep. Um, ooh, gets a heal. Too. That's really important. That's really, really important. That kind of confirms the two damage going through. Yep. And one thing is that he has two nulls versus Regan's one null, which is a just yeah. good life, you know, long, long life. Yep, yep. Um, I, I think I, I don't know if Regan's running that many Lians. Ooh, mm. gets a heal. That <laughs> the perfect timing heal. Yep. All right, so. Now for Regan's side, you can just like do what he's been doing. He has two damage open, so you can just search Blaster Blade, pop mm -hmm. the like whatever really. Yeah. I mean, you, you, you probably swing. Well, your MLB is going face because you've got two intercepts blocking you, and uh, just means you can probably trigger a heal from that and just go back down mm -hmm. on one. Yep, yep. All right. Let's see here. So it's gonna be. It's pretty interesting to use Blaster Blade to retire the Blaster Dark. He's like, ah, uh -uh. <laughs> you're not standing up on me. So he's pretty happy to just like push him to four, not necessarily eat into his PGs yet. So that'll be interesting how this paces out because that gives enough breathing room to our rocket to actually like set up and start coming back. Like, Trick is the end, his, hand is, his hand is super healthy. Yeah. So, yeah. Is it the end? Kind of bad of here. Pretty unfortunate, but 
<laughs> what it is. Oh, it's not required. Everything yeah. is easily beaten in a way. It's a booster as well. Yeah. It's decent. Right. Yep, yep. Let's see now. Right up, finally. Took a while. <laughs> Yeah. See, if you rode the Alfred previously, you probably wouldn't have gotten this. So, mm, learn from yeah, guys. Yeah. Stay at two yeah. and confirm the MLB. Yep. Like even even damage potential wise, right? This is just high damage potential versus yes. just fighting an Alfred and not doing anything for the whole game. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So this is going to be what basically going to push him to three with the Blaster Blade, and then going to be able to take out a PG. With the MLB swing, and can still heal as well on his own, so that's pretty strong. So that's two heals left in deck. It's like <laughs> it's consistency, right? You put those yeah. gantles, but it's that's what really pushes this deck over the top, in my opinion. Is this, mm -hmm. versus anything else? Sure, like Kagro, uh, Shadows, they can draw, but yeah. you you turn one of your cards, your important heal cards, back into your deck, and then get another important card. Your deck mm -hmm. is just way better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like now Spikes kind of have that too with Jelly Beans, but Jelly Beans yeah. doesn't serve anything as impactful as Blaster Blade, you know? Mm -hmm. It's just a Dudley great too, but it's still great too. You know, Jelly Beans is 10k now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Got buffed. I think, he, I think he always was 10k, no? It's 9k. 9k. Really? Jelly Pretty sure it was 9k. Yeah. Oh no, if I Google Jelly Beans, I'm not gonna get the right thing. <laughs> <laughs> jelly Beans? No, no, it, it was it was 10k, it was 10k. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. Looking at it wrong. Oh man, I, I Google... I Google Jelly Beans and I get that, like... Dudley Jessica. Great three <laughs> from back in the Damn, I forgot how good that art is. Oh, wow. Damn. Crazy, that yeah. Early morning rush. <laughs> 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 oh man, <laughs> tainting my own image. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> Regan, real small brain hours. Let's get back to this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so Araki here is like, yeah, yeah. I Araki is in a pretty good position, even though he's at. Oh no, actually not. No, he's not in a good position. It's Araki's turn. Oh, no, it's Araki's turn right now. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's make actually, or break it, right? He needs to heal to survive. That's actually pretty sick. He, I think he needs to call Lian to, to, to filter. He needs an intercept or he's dead. No, actually, even if he gets an intercept, even though he doesn't know, there's a chance that he has, like, if Regan has a blaster blade, he just pops it. So it's like, what do you do? Hmm. I think he, sh he probably shouldn't have called the Alfred, right? If he... Uh, um... Let's see. What did he draw? MLB. MLB. Yeah, yeah no. He tried. I mean, it's it, it was worth a shot. It, the only problem is, is heal. Like you push him to five. If you don't heal, I mean, even if you do, if you're on four, just swing with MLB. That's it. So for for Araki, okay, the heal. I think he needs two though. He needs literally all his heals come through right now. Oh, he put them back in the deck. <laughs> oh my mother of God and Christ, Sister Mary. I <laughs> commentator's curse, right? Oh, uh, well, let's guess I said it. <laughs> but oh, is guys. that it's you know if he didn't draw that Marin, that wouldn't actually be enough. But now that he drew that Marin, that changes everything. Oh, because wow. like now he can go, he can go like star call, call something just thin, and then like. <laughs> Just call the Marin behind Vanguard. Swing with a Star Call. Doesn't matter if he like if he pops a defensive, he can survive. Yeah. But if he doesn't, the twenty k will actually deliver the finishing blow. He's no more no more heals left. Nothing. So yeah, he's just gonna bundle up on defenses. But he has three draws left in. We don't know the deck amount, but goddamn, <laughs> that double heal. <laughs> hey, that wouldn't have happened if he didn't use Lens ability. As <laughs> that's true, that's true. Perfect Oh my god. If he draws a PG, I swear to god. Wait, no, wait. My brain blanked and and I forgot that he has a PG in hand. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that yeah, he was yeah. one up the PGs compared to Regan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put him ahead. And Regan drew his heel, which is not what you want to do. 
You have to be like a rock yeah. and trigger them. Did he give the power to... Yeah, he gave the power to Vanguard to hit over, right? So now it's like back to this? <laughs> Araki barely pulled through. That was actually... That double heal literally saved him. Yeah! Actually that... just saved <laughs> him. <laughs> he did it, boys! <laughs> yeah, he actually did it. Guess the blaster dark top deck too. Oh, wow. Oh boy. Oh boy. Can intercept now. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Keeping in mind that Regan still has two heals in deck, you know, we can. <laughs> if you can do it, so can I. Oh, no, but. Yeah, okay, wow, so. All the filter. He's... There's only one trigger left in Araka's deck. If... He just wants to hit it. He's like, I don't care. Or the last PG, too. I think he's afraid that. Regan does actually have PGs in hand. Because it's, it's three card hand and there's only two PGs revealed, so mm -hmm. you can kind of see it. So he's setting up these intercepts. He's like, you don't have any more blaster blade uses. You know, so you'll have to get through both intercepts before you can actually hit me, but yep. little does Araki know. He's he's got it. <laughs> Unless there's a double heal. Double heal and damage. Got it. Oh, he was this close to the PG. This close to the PG. Alright, Regan. Does he see it? Oh shit, the sixth one! But he needs the seventh damage heal too, but it is possible. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> oh if he didn't draw the heal, that would have been double heal. Oh my god. Yeah, that's <laughs> Yikes, man. Double heals everywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> man. If early. With that, right. Araki's gonna go to finals. <laughs> Araki okay, Araki did an open grade, stayed at two, uh hit the Got the hit and get went to MLB and sure it was he didn't need a double heal at the end but I, I do think if a deck that needed a double heal to MLB is the one because it's yeah that's yeah, yeah, yeah. good that's what's good it puts heals back yeah. it literally is <laughs> literally is Man, yeah I see the chat now freaking out about the double heal <laughs> man feels bad for Regan though he really was so close he was up ahead like this entire game basically. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like if he pushed maybe a bit earlier, would it have made the difference? Do you think? Like, or was it correct? He already was pushing a little bit in the earlier game. I'm not sure if I remember correctly, but it feels like he he was getting there. But man, <laughs> I don't know. It's 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 hard to say. But that's the MLB mirror. That's that's how it'd be. <laughs> yeah. Get more nulls. Get more heals. You know. That's uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. It's, uh, what it is. All what about. a trip. What a trip. <laughs> So, all right. So, for, I think Chris has to go. Um, yes, to do. I, yeah, I sadly have to head off. So I'm going to be tagging out for the final game. But I'm glad that I could join in for this, you know, top cut of the WCC and Iki tournament. And then I was originally going to do my own tournament next week, but then some things fell through, so I have to delay it. But you know, I'm probably going to rely on Yukai in the future for for those right? things. Yeah. Yes. So, so, yeah, I'm gonna tag out where you're gonna get a new commentator in Toby. together with Kai. Yeah. Ooh, Toby coming in, and then you're gonna get Serena versus Arake. Wait, isn't that literally EU versus <laughs> NA finals? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. no, SCA guys, let me down! <laughs> oh my god, crazy! Just but... actually, just getting the rug swept under you. <laughs> Pretty wild. I love you. Good stuff. Yep. Thanks for coming on, Chris. Um, yes, thank you for fight. having me. Yes. I mean, if you don't know a different fight by now, then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, I don't know what yeah. to say. Check him out, guys. No, man. Thanks yes. for coming. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye.
Hey everyone, it's Kai back again and now with Toby. Hi guys. Hey, so, gone fully Australian. Uh, <laughs> so get ready. Get ready. We've, we've got the finals coming up. Uh, yeah, what, it'd be what... a pretty, pretty exciting top two after what we just saw <laughs> in the MLB mirror just now. Is is the finals going to be an MLB mirror? Uh, maybe. you just have to check the results on that. But um... I, think, I think Serena is running MLB, so it's going to be... <laughs> Another MLB versus MLB, just like we saw. Maybe with more double heels. I don't know. Maybe, that was a maybe. hard game. <laughs> that <laughs> was pretty crazy. <laughs> like I was kind of hoping for the double heel on the last defensive check as well. Like that would have been that would have been absolutely wild as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that would have been cool. So unfortunately, uh, it didn't happen. And now we have Rake from the EU versus Serena from the US. Yep. And um, it will be a best of three this time. A best of three. So, uh, hopefully that, sh that should be good. Mm, Mr. Yes, Free, we can see more, more, more MLB mirrors. Mm, and it's definitely exciting to see how the uh, thought process of players go out as well, depending on their hand situation, about how they proceed with the games in the mirrors, especially MLB. Yeah, because yeah. Because it's crucial in the early games, depending on how the stage is, if <laughs> they want to be able to effectively give their opponent the damage mm, or not. Mm. That early game is like, it's kind of like a, it's kind of, I wouldn't say it's like chess, but it, it kind of is. You know, you have to. It's like game theory, I guess, is a better way to say it. Is you know, yes. if you do this, he'll do this, and then you know, you got to think about it like that. So there's one going down to that that early mirror, unless everyone uh everyone just opens the best, and then just goes ahead. Yeah. yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> we got to go fast, right? Ranked, ranked, uh, ranked LV. You know, just just go go go. <laughs> That's it. Just go for hand. Yeah. yeah. Um, Wait, and I've you've actually the... you've been running the back end of this. This tournament a lot. What do you think? How, how, was, how has the tournament been so far overall? Yeah, it's been quite good actually. We've had a lot of good, uh, a lot of good feedback in terms of uh, the, how the players sort of enjoy their time. And um, after just sort of, you know, obviously just picking up everything at the start to effectively have everyone go well going into the end of the tournament and um, for the top cut. So all things considered, it's been pretty good so far. So as the first tournament we've tried out for Vanguard Zero, it's gone pretty well. So we're excited to see what happens in the future. Yes, yeah, it's good to hear. It's good to hear. And especially like, it's it's like a truly different way to run the tour because normally puts a name done, you, you're kind of done. But this one, there's a lot more, uh, a lot more global. I mean, mm, mm. Yeah, so every, you have a lot, a lot of opportunity to, yeah. to play against players you've never even um, played before or yeah. sometimes even heard of. But um. No, it's definitely good. Uh, definitely good insight to sort of see how uh, different regions sort of play with each other as well. Yeah. Like that was a big heavy thing going into our world finals, specifically regions have different play styles, and I think a bit of that comes into zero as well, specifically how players want to um, play with the tempo of the game if they want to be able to conserve resources to a better push point, or thinking you know to push damage early. Okay. And we look so... like we have our um, top two game finally starting up here. So the finals, it's Serena versus Rake. MLB Mirror, both running Corins. Um so it should be interesting yes. to see. Uh, I think I did see uh, Serenia's list. It's pretty straight. I think they're both just pretty straightforward MLB decks. Yeah, I think I remember correctly. They're pretty straightforward. So, like the MLB decks are very solved with how they're sort of brought out. Like there's obviously some little room, little bits of room for like uh, editing here and there. But mm. for the most part, the most engines, the most consistent parts, all really stay the same if people are able to you know, acquire all the right pieces, which I think in this circumstance, it's most likely the case. Yeah, like the, uh, the original, like the only changes I can really see is at grade one, you might want to maybe run more Marin or, or one more K or something. But overall, the rest of the deck, you know, gear Gant slots, as you can see, they're pretty good. They help you heal. Yes. Uh, yes get, so your <laughs> get your MLBs. Get your MLBs, get your Palamedes, and then your last slot can just be anything. It could be an Alfred. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, could be an Alfred. Yeah, it scales or... down from the grade. So grade three is pretty much stock standard. Pick this, but your 13th slot is obviously flex. Um, grade two, more or less the same. It's just changing ratios of Bedivere and um, Star Call. And the grade ones is where the most flexibility comes with the MLB decks. Yep. And then grade two, yeah, same thing. <laughs> yeah, so it's like how many how many Bedivere's do you want? Do you want to have opportunity to be able to possibly superior core more grade twos later on, or the possibilities of having more um, 12k attackers? Really personal preference there, depending on what you feel like the meta is going to be. The eight, the eight slots are already taken. Already taken. Oh yes, yes. Um, right. You must run four. Consistency is key above all else. Tech yes. comes later. 
Yep. All right. Honestly, like the although we, we we make fun, we compare all the three decks together. We say it will be it's slightly less consistent than the other two. No, no, it's not that. It's not that bad. It's like a one percent difference, maybe. I think. Yeah, they're <laughs> all because of Gantz. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say like you have the, the capability of just recycling and the search for your key pieces is really strong. I think if the other decks had the ability to have a Gantzlot style card. Um, mm -hmm. It would be pretty crazy. Yeah, no, that will be, that will be massive. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Be crazy good. So yeah, like decks like Di though don't really have um that much of a push for the whole deck, even though they have a against lot cell card. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then they've got replacement chariot. <laughs> yes, yes. So to be underway here. Araki seems to have opened slightly better than Serena. Serena missing like two pieces, I guess. Um, yeah. So we'll just see how the game progresses for them, but um, oh, Araki has like the perfect setup. Yeah. <laughs> he could, uh. He could. I don't know. Would you pass here with a perfect setup or would you just not care? I would. No, definitely pass here because it doesn't matter next turn. Because mm. you don't want to have the. You want to give your opponent the less amount of opportunity to be able to set up. Like, yeah. if your game plan is still on point, then that's that's fine. That's what you want. But you want you to deny your opponent as much as possible, even mm -hmm. though the circumstances a lot come up where they will have the engine regardless. You don't yeah. want to be able to put yourself in that position. Oh, and damaging a heal first as well. That's getting more and more pressure on Serena as well as she loses um, some more advantage there. And drawing a Palamedes. Yes. Those are yeah, not it's... things you want having, because that Ganslot technically turns a blade. And although she already has two blasted blade, you know, putting it putting a heal back is still good. And, yes, ooh. but um, you really don't want to be riding that Palamedes either. Even though um, you can get some power ups, it really doesn't do anything for you. So, so she might be uh, yes, searching the ammo be here as I thought to try and have a better Vanguard target to have your engine going later on. Interestingly enough, neither player damage denied. I wonder, like, because one thing you can check is that if you see your opponent Mulligan five, you can think. His hand is just terrible, and can just go face, right? Yes, they yes. don't mulligan anything at all, you know? The hand is pretty good. Yes, of course, yeah. <laughs> so, he's even called out his spare blast of blade. He's just going to push damage, uh, which mm. is pretty cool. And uh, in this situation, I think it really is actually going to pay off for him, even though he doesn't know it himself, because Serena has no PGs in hand. Oh, yeah, he's got one more PG more than Serena. And mm. going ham here means... all you need, really. Yeah. Going ham here... Means that his opponent is likely just dead next turn. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Going fast, man. Ooh. Ooh. Trying a Gancelot. That's not a Blast of Dark. That is no, not a Blast it's of not. Dark. But at least uh, that card can be recycled for a Blast of Blade, at the very least. At least you can at least you can, uh, put it back to get a heal. But, so that's, but that's con consolidation, bro. Since he doesn't have any boosters, though, this turn doesn't really have anything going for him because the highest number he can make here is a 13k. Which, obviously, one card in the damage zone uh, mitigates that highest number. Yeah. Yeah, it's not looking so it's good. it's really, really bad for Serena in this circumstance. Mm, Just putting the intercepts right. down, so... Yep. Let's I mean, sure, her. but... Uh, if, if she pushes two, two damage here, though, right? Those two intercepts won't really matter, but she, she won't be able to here. No, yeah, that's the thing. She won't be able to do it in the first place, so it's okay. Unless she got a trigger or something like that. Yes. It just means in this circumstance, she doesn't automatically die this next turn because she, yeah. the, um, Arake can't retire the units currently on board. Yeah. If, if he, if he got an extra damage, then that's GG. Yes. Uh, but one more turn, uh, going to five, because MLB decks don't run crits. Yes, yes. And, uh, yeah. So it all depends on Serena's next turn, whether to kind of make and break this game. She might get some heals and some defensives, who knows? But if she can't get her engine going next turn, then th I think the turn after, when Raki has his turn again, it's going to be very bad on that boat. I honestly think even if she does draw like a bust the dark, like just on the draw, it's it's just looking terrible because then she needs like a draw null to even yes. have a chance of surviving or like heal heal or something like that. I mean, draw here is good. That's not good. Drawing into that's not good. Another draw is good. Yeah, another chance. There we go. At least I had the engine going at the very least. Yeah. But now she needs to be able to heal down and grab some PGs. 
Mostly peak, wow. oh, PG. That's a good wow. subject. That's really good. That's really handy. That is the perfect consecutive order of cards that uh, she That's... needed. Yes. Because Arake currently has no option to be able to retire um, the extra grade twos um, when they're called. But um, the issue is if he wants to use the engine, um, the intercepts will be going. He will only be left with one if he decides to call the blaster blade here as well. So that means he only has one. Oh, he's is he going for it? Is he going to call the? I feel, I feel like yes. uh, I feel like he only has he... one wave of a defense here, so he really needs a heal or draw into a PG. I feel like Serena could. Mm. No, that's fine. It's fine. Yeah. So what's what what's going to happen next? Right? Is that if a rocket doesn't get any draws here, it's going to be tough placing cards down to attack with though. Well, the benefit of having the K in the back row is that it can automatically snipe the Blaster Blade, so he needs something mm. to be able to hit the um, MLB or be able to get triggers on the drought track. Oh, that's a, that's a pretty good heal. Things that, are going pretty good for That actually saves him for a turn. Yes. PG to the bottom. But that means he has... Uh, Serena now has an extra turn after this because effectively... Um, unless he top a Blaster Blade, then the uh, yeah. PG... Um, I would call down the MO, yes, push that up, call the MO to the side and hope for a trigger, yes. But the play from Serena just before just gave them the extra turn to be able to make a play, which is really, really good. Unfortunately, no triggers, but that just means the Palamedes goes. Yeah, but that's... I mean, it's not bad for Araki, still got one null. Um, gonna be able to, gonna have his field wipe though. That's a lot of grade threes in hand for Serena. I mean, both players really? have some grade three. So, I mean, like, there's a chance for it to heal or get a null. So, honestly, um, she needs to be able to heal here. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, that's that's not looking good. I mean, if she still has the chance to heal defensively. Yeah. <laughs> Don't heal, 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 heal later. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's right, denying the resources. Yep. They're what both in a pretty resource-starved um, result here. Like, they really need... So would you would you call the Marin in front just in case... I would. Probably. I would have, yes, just to try and deny resources. Mm. Yeah, that would have paid off too. Because yes. now he's whiffing these heals. Or whiff a trigger at least. Is that his first heal? Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> still in this game, man. That's crazy. Two heals out? Doesn't matter. Still get a defensive heal. It's been so touch and go for so long. So this is, um. Yeah, wow. Well. The scrappiest. Oh, the scrappiest yes. ML MLB. See, this, game. this is pretty good top taking a Blaster Dark. Because, um. Arake has no easy way to get rid of it at the moment. Yeah. So there's still a possibility to be able to make something work. Put down, put down the blast up. Put down the blast. Yeah. Yes. Doing it, doing it. Now, okay, okay. Would you risk it? Would you Palamedes and then the MLB? Yes, you, you would Palamedes first, yes. Because, um... Oh, no! Defensive trigger. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it's yeah, a draw as I was as about well. to say. Um, you would have a chance of banking on a trigger, but unfortunately here you would have to bank on two, which True does not triggers, happen. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if if they went MLB first though, right, it's like... It's still kind of the... Actually, it's worse if you go MLB, because they can go like Star Call, which they drew, right, into like yeah. a Blaster Blade, right? Yes, well, the only if benefit they... there would be yeah. sitting on five damage, but because he drew into the Star Call, then their plays would have been so much better. Mm. Really does not look good here. Alfred? At least... At least Araki can make three calls. Yes. And he's the deck theme as just, well? He would, he would call... Um, yeah, I suppose it doesn't matter here, because you can just call the Marin behind, yes, the... Yep. And then it's pretty much GG. Yes. Unless, uh, unless Serena swings... I mean, sorry. Nah, Araki went MLB first, so... It's, Which is understandable GG. in this scenario, because you would need two triggers to pass. Yeah, you, you knew from the previous turn they didn't have a null, so unless yes. they just drew it, it's uh... 
it's, it's not likely to happen. So first game goes to Iraq. What a crazy swinging game, you know? The, the yeah, that, uh, games... that had some tempo changes very, very quickly. That was pretty exciting. Yeah, even one heal totally changes the game up, you know? It's mm -hmm. it's crazy. So it's 1-0 for Iraqi. He's at a tournament point. Uh, he just needs one more win to take it home. Serena needs two. Uh, interesting fact, Nuno was going to play in the tournament, but he couldn't. So he, he, he told he told Iraqi to go play, and uh seems like it was a uh, turned out that, pretty uh, well. That decision certainly paid off, yes. <laughs> it's doing, doing pretty well. Iraqi's doing well. <laughs> and I, I don't know, he's, he's, it's been gifted, right? That, that his his hands, you know, honestly, and, and his his luck so far has been just the perfect combination between uh, skill and luck. Yes, so, yes, uh, there's <laughs> definitely been a good lot of luck, but um, there's a reason he's uh. And they should get that top 100 badge, I feel, to be able to make some good crucial and key choices. Gotta go fast, man. Top 100 mm -hmm. in the global? Dude, you can only go fast to get that. Yes, yes. <laughs> so I think they're just, uh, just pairing, I guess. Not really. Yeah. It is insane the amount that uh, that people really grind the rank for. Um, I don't know. I gave up, I gave up <laughs> after preseason when we first had the test... Uh, yeah, we, we thought we thought preseason bad, but man. <laughs> yeah, we've certainly had a lot more uh, time on our hands. Uh, certain people in certain situations um, to be able to effectively grind rank and really grab those very special shiny cards. <laughs> it's all about the, the shiny banner, though, man. Mm, yes. Ooh. Okay, so these hands. What do you think? Um. I think honestly, in most circumstances, it's you like, want to be able to. It's the same hand, right? Your... Yeah, wow, no, no, no. that's. And he's, and he's got the thing wrong. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's, it's, it's actually both the same hand. <laughs> it is actually both the same hand. <laughs> Let's get that sorted. <laughs> what are the chances? Exactly the same hand? Crazy. Yeah, that's pretty pretty crazy. Let's see what they make of them. Oh, he has to unfortunately ride the PG. He doesn't top the Marin like a Rocky does. <laughs> Gee. Really, just um, that is she really hit an unlucky streak there, like losing a PG and then not having a strong defensive base. I mean, like, otherwise, his hand, uh, Serena's hand is pretty good. The whole setup is there, which is very, very good. But a rocky, a rocky pushing damage is pushing damage. He's, he's doing the same play as he did the previous game, which is an interesting dynamic. I think it means, like, he, he has the full combo, so I feel like he he's saying he doesn't need to be afraid. He just needs to be able to push and destroy the resources as soon as possible, even though it's going first. Yeah, that's I, that tempo is actually pretty strong. When you open not yeah. and going first, and again, yes. Serena does not have the null. So. Yes, because you're pushing, pushing the pressure out going first to be able to do the combo, I think in some situations it's okay to be able to, you know, push that tempo and try and grab out the game because you're denying them of resources or pushing them to a high damage, which I guess in both cases is pretty I guess good. what's interesting though is that Serena chose to, uh, to deny damage um, early on, right? Yes, Do you think that was yes. correct? In most cases going second, I think so, because the less chances you have for the opponent going first to have the combo is more beneficial for you in the long run. In terms of games. Mm. So we still, mm. unfortunately, no. for some technical issues, can't see Arake's hand currently. So we don't know the specifics I mean, that he's able to draw from here. Do we need to know Arake's hand? It's, it's been pretty good. <laughs> mm, yes, it's been pretty good we lately. still know he has at least one PG in hand, so he's safe for a long margin here. <laughs> That's that's one PG more than Serena at the moment. I yes. mean, we said that last game as well. Uh, turned yes, out pretty that's crazy. But figures a heal so here heal. doesn't matter. But I think now um, with the Wingle Break to search a blast of dark for next turn. The wow. Going to five is massive tempo though. That's pretty dry. It's like mm. just empty. Able to no search draw out. triggers to try and get some uh, better pieces, unfortunately. Yeah, is it gonna, gonna, gonna search for a blast of dark? Yeah, oh, go some blade. Blaster blade, interesting. Maybe you should just maybe um, I reckon this wants to confirm it for next turn. If case he yeah. goes to three, to have that push potential. 
rather than trying to, you know, rely on the top deck of getting a Gansla or something that he has the yeah, I mean, sniper. In this situation, more attacks on Vanguard means more chances to win. I, yeah, being on five, I think it's the correct choice overall to try and just confirm the fact that you might have a better chance to win this next turn. So, how does how does a how does a Serena get out of it though? Um, double uh, hit? It's really hard here. I think <laughs> you need to be able to yeah be able to call um, double intercept here, and then um, pop your pieces in the back row and just hope for the best really. Wow, yeah, it's not looking good for Serena to be honest. It's rough. It's rough, you know. Rafi's yeah. hand has been just excellent, excellent. In this situation, though, like I probably would have called a better view to at least try and have something to hit the Vanguard. Huh. Because if you're going to give two damage anyway, face up, then you may as well go to the four instead of the three, right? Yeah. Because I mean, there's the no is... boosters in her hand. Yeah, no, no boosters is just rough. It's just so. So no, yeah, nothing's I would happening. Further twelve k. We're waiting. Just thinking about the plays. Well, she did. It's correct to at least call those two cards out because. Mm, you need um, to set up the card. But she's. The thing is, okay, you MLB here, you have two. The Blaster Blade's coming down anyway, so. Mm. Heal, that's quite yes. nice, but unfortunately, the MLB sinks with two crits, so you need to be that's able one. to. one! Don't forget! That, oh. that PG would have been nicer in hand. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Another. Heal. We talked about this last game, you know, the two damage defensively. Uh, <laughs> mm, still yes, three in the deck. True. Oh, I see. That's that's pretty good to be able to deny getting the blast blade to kill your interceptors to give yourself an opportunity yeah. for more grinds. Okay, this that's is this was actually a big brain play. Didn't actually use the effect. Yes, I mean we saw this in the champions before. It was like Dotto doing that thing, mm. but although although it it's like it's, right now it looks bad, but you know you gotta it's, do it's what you gotta do. It's still a bad situation regardless. You just yeah have to make the best yeah. choice you can, which I think in that situation was the best. And if you get to heal your... here, that's okay. Draw. And the final one to heal. Oh, it is. We're back in it. <laughs> oh man. That's... Oh goodness. This this uh this top four has been very 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 exciting. With uh... it's happening, man. Oh, and it's he draws happening. a PG this game. <laughs> she okay. she's just really being able to luck out and um. Just pull off some really, really crazy stuff here. Now she can MLB retires Alpha, which is correct. It is correct. Yes, yes, it is because you still need to be able to kill an interceptor without any boosters. So. Yep. The blaster blade is is free. And I think she just needs to hope that he doesn't um, have a uh, another blaster blade to be able to retire if um, she plans to push here. I mean, how many blaster blades are out? It's like three, three maybe. Um, at least two. Yeah. Can't remember from the early. I mean. Suck in. But, but that's her main bet, is to hope that the Blaster Blade doesn't come out. Get a heal here as well is pretty good. Draw, maybe draw a null. Yeah, heals against the MLB, like, they help, obviously they helped in the last situation with the 6 damage heal, but you really need to be able to find PGs. Thing is, how how developed is Araki's hand, I guess? I mean, it's it's not hard hitting, hitting like, 9k, so... Mm. But it comes down to the Blaster Blade. Yes, Blaster Blade. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay. That right. that will get rid That's... of the one PG in the hand and probably yeah. take this game. Unless he's got nothing else to call. Call a null? No, not even a null. Okay. All right. So unless Serena heals twice, <laughs> <laughs> um, or he swings with MLB here. Okay. Oh, so she only needs okay. one heal. Interesting. So Serena needs one heal to live. Can she get it? And if she does, she might just win. Ah, uh, there we okay. go. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Rocky yeah, taking that in the two-zero sweep, though. Rocky is showing how good you can be with MLB. <laughs> mm, yes. That was some tight games. Serena, this is a big, big swings, big swing game. Pretty cool. It will be showing why it is the king deck, the best deck in, uh, not standard, in Zero at the moment. In Zero, yes. Um, <laughs> yeah. Taking up 
pretty much nearly all the top slots there. You can see why it's just so oppressive with its um, consistency, its resource um, generation, its uh, retire to be able to hit key interceptors in the intercept mechanic that Zero has. Mm -hmm. So many powerful key features. And yeah, it's Serena from the US, congratulations for coming second. And then, It is a big achievement nonetheless, yes. Uh, Arake from Europe, coming in first from Team Ventura. Congratulations, dude. Uh, you did well. You did well. Should <laughs> actually, those hands were monster hands, man. Monster hands. And what do you think? What do you think, Toby? Was... Yeah, I think um, both players honestly played mostly to the best of their ability, and that's all you can really hope for in these sort of uh, high tension situation games in the uh, <laughs> the finals. Um, showing off some really, really uh, clever sort of plays to uh, understand the mind of an MLB player in these uh, high end to decide whether the tempo of the game starts from the beginning or the middle or in grade three. I mean, so it's it's been really exciting, yeah. Everyone makes fun of MLB. It's like, MLB goes brr, easy game. But look, to squeeze out that last 5%, you still have to play correctly, all right? You still yeah, have to at least course, know, yeah. know what you're doing. To play optimally, like, every time you can get, um, you really need to be able to be on point because yeah. it's easy enough just to suck into your regards and get crit and smack. But to be able to, you know, use your resources effectively and play into the right game um, is not always easy 100%, 100 of the time. Especially that, that turn when Serena did not uh, did not suck in and go 12 mm, good Yes, 12 denying days. the Blaster Blade during yeah. that time to give herself some, a slight bit of breathing room, which did pay off in that turn. Yep. Um, yep. Shows that some different plays are really crucial at different times. Yeah, it's like a tournament. You have seven rounds of Swiss, then you had four rounds of a uh, top top cut. So you know you had to play pretty good to uh to go. He went. He was like X one, right? So yes, yes. He did. He you have to play correctly to at least go X one and in the end win the whole mm. thing. So uh, yeah, congratulations again to Arake and thanks thanks for coming, guys. It's it's been a great mm. tournament. Uh, you've been a great audience as well, and uh, hopefully we can run more of these in the future. Mm. And look, it's gonna only gonna get better. Of course, uh, yeah. yeah. Limit breaks coming. Limit breaks coming, guys. Yes, that'll be interesting. Adding into the fray with the new decks coming out. Whether yeah. it's unfortunate that um, that straight away the set doesn't change like it has with the last couple of sets in the past with these oppressive decks from set four. Just you know, obviously, just stealing the show. MLB, Kagero, Shadows. Uh, in Japan, still showing the top results even after the next one or two sets comes out. Has there yeah, any well, slight showing some others? Worlds, Worlds was, well, not world, but you know, the, the big championship, Vanguard Tournament Champions, was won by a guy running uh, Narukami. So, I mean, mm. it's possible. Any Anything is possible, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah, there's and, definitely some hidden gems to be able to um, have a lot of skilled hands to be able to grab and use. Yeah, so I, I think definitely it's only going to get better um but look good tournament guys good tournament mm. crazy top cut uh good time casting with both different fight and tony you guys see tony he's two he's champion a uh, premium premium champion in uh, australia so this is him this is him if you don't see him that often he's got a red head but <laughs> one of the few white boys in wcc <laughs> yes yes he, he's the token so uh, otherwise, uh, thanks for coming, guys. If you want to see more content, subscribe to our channel. This is the channel, uh, World Class Card Fighters. And uh, you can definitely see me, uh, and you might be able to see other guys uh, from our team as well. And I want to thank both uh, uh, WCC and Iki uh, for also running the tournament. Uh, Fatal, thanks for doing all that work. And everyone in the back, uh, Wirab, uh, Kelvin, Derek, all, all making those great, uh, great scenes. You got Andy running the stream. Thanks, Andy. It's it's been great. Uh, although you can't hear him, I can in my ears. <laughs> so, <laughs> so thank you for the Phantom Blaster Dragons that you're not gonna use because you're gonna be stuck in FF14. But yeah, <laughs> thanks for the thanks to our sponsors and um, thanks to thanks for everyone for coming. Yeah, and I also think that um that if you guys are interested to join again, like join our Discord. Um, this won't be the last event that we'll run. 